Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second part of our uh, meeting, Policy and Priorities, uh, for Monday, October 7th. I'm going to call this meeting to order at 8.20 p.m. Uh, members of Council, after looking at the agenda, do you see any additions or errors or omissions? Nope, nope. Seeing none, then I have a motion put forward by Councillor Hahn that the agenda for the October 7th, 2019 regular meeting of the committee be adopt adopted as circulated. <coughs> All those in favor? Opposed? Carried. <clears throat> sort of. Now, can I ask if anybody on council here has the disclosure of any pecuniary interest? Nope. Seeing none, then we'll move forward. Okay. All right, so we're going to move down to uh, item four, 4.1, draft 2020 council meeting. I have a motion put forward by Councillor Hahn that the committee receive report number 2019-0091 and recommend to Council that the 2020 Council meeting schedule as provided in Appendix A to this report be approved with all suggested changes to be incorporated and that staff be directed to publish the final schedule to the town's website calendar following Council approval. Any discussions in regards to this motion? Councillor Hahn? For you, Chair, um, as we have a councillor missing, um, Mr. Corr will be back, I believe, next week. I would suggest that we have um, grant him the opportunity to see this before we make a decision on this, um, number one. Number two, also, Monday, December 21st, a lot of people like to take um, Christmas holidays. I'm just wondering about having the four days before Christmas, having a meeting, if that's uh, really feasible, because there might not be very many people in attendance. So you're going to make a recommendation then, and uh, sure. that will have to be an amendment to this motion, and we'll need uh, you to make a motion to amend it. Uh, okay, so that I would I would remove December 21st to make an adjustment there, but I also think that we should have our, our all our councillors have the uh, ability to see this before we make a decision on it. So is this if this is critical that this has to be done today and not next uh, next meeting? Well, right now in front of us, we have a motion put forward, so we'll just make a motion to amend it. Yeah. So is there any discussions on the amendment? Mayor so Junkin. Are, are we addressing the amo, uh, amendment about the Correct. meeting? Or about Mr. Corr? Uh, we're going to do uh, the de December 21st meeting first, and then we'll do Councillor Corr. Uh, I have no comment on that one. On December 21st? Okay. Does anybody else have... And then now on the part, it's a two-part amendment. Just, just procedurally uh, through you, Mr. Chair, if if the motion is to refer, that would actually take priority over a mo any motion to review the actual schedule. So if you want to refer it to um, Committee of the Whole for November 4th, I would suggest that any amendments to the actual schedule occur in that meeting as opposed to continuously <laughs> reviewing sure. it. The main motion would be the motion to refer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the amendment would be the mo to refer uh, this motion to uh, Committee of the Whole. Is there any discussion in regards to that? Oh. Councillor Wink? So we have quorum here. Um, we are tasked to make decisions even in the absence of one or two councillors, just like last week, we had a, uh, a meeting and there was two councillors and we still continue to do business. I don't see the fact that something's on the agenda that we have to defer it. Like it behooves this group to make a decision. Understood. Mayor Junkin? Yes, I'm sorry, I, I didn't realize we had moved on to the second. And I support uh, Councillor Wink's uh, comments 100%. We were, were a council. We, uh, the bylaw says if we have a quorum, we do business. And uh, I believe that uh, 
there's going to be certain times of the year when each and every one of us are going to miss meetings because of holidays. The corporation can't come to a halt while we wait for everyone to sit. So I, I fully uh, support Council Wink's uh, stand on this. Anybody else have any comment in regards to the amendment? It's, it's not an amendment, it's a motion to refer. Or, or a motion to refer, I'm sorry. It's okay. Nope, seeing none, then I guess I'll call this to uh, vote. All those in favor? Of the amendment? Of referring, of referring. The, of referring okay. to November 4th committee. In favor? Yeah. yeah. One. All those opposed? Or not carry, no. sorry, so, lost, lost. so that motion to refer is lost. So now you have the motion to consider um, the schedule, and you may want to turn to Councillor Hahn, who did want to make a motion to amend the schedule. Okay, so we're going to go back to uh, the schedule. Councillor Hahn, do you still want to? I just yeah, four days before Christmas. I I just think that that's too close to and it's right in the center of holidays. So I, I would like to re revise this, so I don't know how we can, but that's probably the expertise of the clerk that perhaps can help out in that regard. Um, but I guess I'm, I'll have to find out what the rest of council wants to do on that, or whether that's worth So you're that. asking to delete December 21st or reschedule December 21st only, or is there any other days? I don't know if you can bump it to January or if it has to, that has to be done in advance, then, then if there's an opportunity in advance, I just think that having something four days before Christmas is is kind of tight. But I see what the rest of the group thinks. Mr. Junkin, yeah. Mayor Junkin, so, I would like to hear the uh, clerk's uh, availability of other meeting dates or what her opinion is on that. Uh, through you, Mr. Chair, the um, draft meeting schedule is presented in accordance with the uh, procedural bylaw. I don't have the authority as the clerk to make any changes to that, so that's why it's being brought forward to uh, Council for consideration to any changes. Um, if uh, it's Council's wish to remove the meeting on December 21st, that would be through a motion. Um, according to the procedural bylaw, we would have a meeting on December the 7th. Council and Policy and Priorities. December 14th is a public meeting under the Planning Act. Um, the 21st would be the third Monday of the month, which is a regular meeting. So we could either um, schedule a council meeting on the 14th or just remove the 21st. I would um, remind Council of the longer time frame for getting agendas up. So we would just be coming off of a council meeting on the 7th, the agenda for the 14th would already have been released. So it's just something else to think about. So I guess I'll make a comment on that then. Councilor Hahn, you're uh, wanting to change that date because of vacation, possible vacation time. Well, once again, if we don't have quorum, there won't be no meeting. If there's, I'm just I'm throwing it out there because yeah. it's it's what four days before Christmas, and if we don't have quorum, then it, it, it doesn't that's not going to work. So if people have Christmas plans, that's the that's the week they're probably going to have them. That's that's my only suggestion. Mm -hmm. If nobody else here cares, then then so be it. Fill your boots. We'll have a meeting. Mayor Junkin. Yes, uh, I actually uh, agree with the, uh, with the councilor. As I usually do, as I usually do. <laughs> no, I, I, I honestly think that uh, at four days before Christmas, uh, I, I would like to see us, and, and if it means canceling the meeting as opposed, uh, whatever, the, I'd like to go with the clerk on this. Oh, and I see the CAO also would like to speak. Everything Madam Clerk said uh, is correct. However, to try to help you find a, a different date, uh, there are probably two good choices facing council. You can choose to make December 14th just an extremely long day, start an hour too early and wrap council after it. I mean, at the end of the day, council confirms everything that you do when you sit as committees or policy, right? That's your sober second thought. You are a sober second thought to yourselves. Alternatively, it's open to you to pick a day later that week you go with the, the Thursday night, the 17th. It's true, we'll have some staffing challenges around what we put on the agendas, but the bottom line is, the important thing is that you'll consider things on the 14th, a public meeting and the Planning Act. You could then on the 17th, unless there's some 
we don't know what will be on that agenda yet. Unless there's something in the Planning Act that statutorily says you need more time, you could wrap everything up that year on the night of the 17th, which is admittedly only three days later, but that gives you two meetings in the teens in December and then a clear two-week break for everyone um, for the winter holidays. Well, if I had to make a suggestion, uh, I would rather have one long meeting on the 14th rather than come back again on the 17th. <coughs> so uh, if, I'd like to hear what Council has to say of policy of that. And if, if they're agreeable with that, I'll, I'll put a, uh, whatever, a motion or whatever to that, but whatever. Well, I think the long meetings are kind of normal anyway, yeah. so you wouldn't be <laughs> any different. Yeah. Councilor Hahn? Thank you, Chair, and as I always do, I'll agree with the Mayor on this, eh? Oh. Chief, do we have a defibrillator in here? I know. <laughs> the moon yeah. must be aligned. Yeah. Let's and, get back uh, to where we were, sir. meeting then on the 14th. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it, too. Yeah, long meeting. Get it all done. Okay, so then we're going to go back. We're going to amend this to remove the 21st. So, Councillor Hahn is proposing a um, an amendment to the schedule to remove the 21st and convene a longer meeting council on the, on the 14th. Correct. Okay. So you need to vote on that. Yeah, so we're going to vote on the amendment. The amendment, right, is to delete the 21st and the longer meeting on the 14th. Everybody clear on that? Any discussion on that? Okay. All those in favor? Opposed? Okay, the amendment is passed. So now we're going to go back to uh, <coughs> draft council meeting schedule. If there are any other changes. Yeah. Any other changes anybody would like to see to the schedule? Sorry. So that the committee received the report 2019-0091 and recommend to council that the 2020 council meeting schedule as amended to this report be approved with all suggestion changes to be incorporated and that staff shall be directed to publish the final schedule to the town's website following council approval. And the amendment was to remove December 21st, 21st and uh, have a longer meeting on December 14th. Any discussion on the motion? Okay, we'll put it to vote. All those in favor? Opposed, and then carried as amended. <laughs> okay, we have a motion put on the floor by Councillor Hildebrand. Uh, the execution of a condominium agreement for Fawn Hill Yards, file number 26CD190118-2019-0001. Planning, date October 7th, 2019. That the committee receive report number 98 and recommend that council approve the bylaw attached hereto as Appendix A, authorizing the mayor and clerk to execute the condominium agreement with Avia. Properties for Fawn Hill Yards. Is there any discussion on that motion? No discussion. Okay, then I'm going to call it to vote. All those in favor? Opposed? Carried. Wow. <laughs> Four point three. Uh, Pelham Street North reconstruction extension uh, dash twenty nineteen dash zero zero nine three public works dated October seventh, twenty nineteen. That the committee recommend that council receive report number twenty nineteen dash zero zero nine three regarding the Pelham Street reconstruction extension <laughs> for information. Any discussion in regards to this motion put forward by Councillor Wink? This is going to be good. Okay, now I'll call that to vote. All those in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay. 
Okay, I got motion put forward by Councillor Stewart that this regular meeting of committee be adjourned until the next regular meeting scheduled for October 21st, 2019, following council. I would suspect there's no debate on this one. So all those in favor? Opposed?